Okay, so this is a quick walk through the process of getting from Character Creator into Blender and eventually out to a, a GLTB file, uh, which basically gives us uh, a complete animated, um, relatively low poly character. Uh, file size is still a bit bigger than I'd like, but the actual character itself is low poly um, and that's usable in AR. So what we're going to basically be using is uh, the CC Blender tools, which you can get from uh, Soup Day. Uh, you can see here, download the zip file. Um, what I've done is built a very simple character. So this is using one of the um, ActCore characters. So you can see here, it's already only 15,000 triangles, uh, which definitely helps in terms of performance. Um, so basically we've got here a small scene, which is kind of up to a thousand, but in essence, it's like 400 frames. What we're gonna do to begin with is we're gonna export FBX, close character, we're going to select this to Blender, uh, leave motion mesh. We're going to remove the embedded textures because that can cause some issues. Uh, we're going to use current animation. Don't mind about the frame range, but actually let's, for the sake of this, just go to 400, keep it nice and simple. Um, and we're going to leave the rest of these settings uh, default. Export that. So let's go, see I've done a few tests already, try and find the right process. It's test four, so this is our CC4 export. Um, to and up. Okay, so that gives us a uh, uh, an FBX file, which is admittedly only 12 meg, which is quite nice, but unfortunately that's going to get bigger in a minute um, with all our textures and everything else we need in there. Uh, I think the texture file is 3, 4 meg, so quite small already, but let's see what happens. So Blender, um, what I've basically done in Blender here is if you go to... Um, I have a new way around Blender. If you go to preferences and add ons, and I have installed um, this character CC tools, which you basically do by doing install and pointed to the zip that downloaded here. Uh, once that's installed, you basically have access to a new tool. If I push N on the keyboard, that's letter N, you get this. Uh, which basically allows me to use the importer for uh, character creator pipeline. So I'm going to import a character. Uh, let's work my way through to where I've buried that. And I clone animation disks. Okay, so here's the file we've just exported from uh, CC4. Uh, that will bring that character in in a few seconds. Here we go. Okay, can remove the cube. We don't need that. Uh, and in order to make sure we've got all our textures and stuff showing correctly, rather than this kind of white symbol we've got up, to, up here, I'm going to switch to the next one along, which is a viewport shading, and there we go. We've got the character set up nicely. That one tripped me up quite a few times, so remember to select this one. So from here, we've got a few other bits and pieces we want to do. I mean, we don't need lighting, so I've kept it quite flat, and we don't need physics. Uh, it would have actually bought in our animation already if I hit play. We should see we've got our animation in place. The only thing is it defaults to kind of an end of 250. So what we're going to do here is just set that to match our export, which is 400. And we now get the full scene uh, all the way through to the end. Okay, so that's our character. Uh, a couple of other things to do before we go much further. If I leave the uh, scale at this resolution, then basically the character be huge. So in order to make it usable uh, within uh, when we've exported, we're going to go this way, which is counterintuitive because actually it's made the character even bigger. But in actual fact, that's what we need in order to uh, keep the scaling correct when it ends up uh, being exported. So now we have a character. Admittedly, the, um, the character is quite low res, but the um, textures are quite complicated. So to fix that, we go to the character build settings and where we've got the material, we go to basic rebuild material. We've now got a simplified version of the material, which will work a lot better when it gets to a GLTB. And then from there, we can actually export. So um, I'm going to go from here, uh, export uh, GLTB. Uh, let's stick that somewhere since plugin. Let's just go back to where we were. Okay, so we're going to create, um, well, that's fine, but let's do export from and, uh, and that would give us our, oh, GLTB. Uh, it will automatically pick up the animation. I've also tried using compression on and off. Doesn't really make a huge difference. Few K. Um, I don't think we need to worry about any of the others. These are all default settings uh, and this all seems to work as it should. So let's export that. 
After a few seconds, we should have our new file sitting in here. And what I'd love to work out is why that goes to 43 meg when it's actually started at 12 plus textures, so it should be about 15. Um, but obviously by um, turning all the animation into something suitable, that's become a bit bigger than it should. I think, yeah, I can use the built-in viewer uh, within Windows. Um, but what I prefer to use, which gives a better results, is the uh, Dom Curry GLT viewer. So if, if I refresh here, and if we now dump that file in, it's all scaled correctly. And performance-wise, it's not bad. Uh, it's running at a reasonable performance. We still have all the morphs. So what I might want to look at doing is how do I actually um, remove all the morphs as part of the migration, because that would um, definitely reduce the file size. So you can see here we can adjust the morphs and settings and uh, and alter some of the values, not that I actually think. So if I can squint the eyes, you can see they've now closed. And none of this lot's needed in AR. So if there's a way of me um, getting rid of those, I will look at how to um, do that. I think it actually might be in the export settings here. So let's have a quick look and see. Uh, there's a delete in faces. Usually there's something about deleting unused morphs. Can't see that. Okay, well, I'll go hunting for that another day and see if I can tag that onto this video. But that's basically it. If we can drop the file size down, then you've got a really, really usable file. Um, that's it. Okay, so one quick addition to the end of the video. Uh, you can see here, basically, I've been able to strip out the uh, morphs. So uh, it's gone from 43 meg down to 20, which is an awful lot better. So in order to do that, basically, within the export, the only thing I've changed which is different is exports to GT GLT uh, B and remove the shape keys. By actually uh, removing the shape keys and saving it out, you can see there's a massive file size difference. Uh, and the animation still remains the same. Uh, I suspect that may have lost some of the facial animation. So if you need to do lip sync or other things like that, you may need to um, look for a slightly different solution. But at the moment, by removing those, um, I've still retained the animation, kept the file size nice and small, which is exactly what I need for AR.